You know, forgiveness is hard. Well, I find it hard anyway. I blame it on watching all those Godfather movies when I was young. Or even the martial arts movies. You know, the ones where the student has to get revenge for what someone did to their master. But yeah, you gotta get the upper hand. You can't just let someone walk all over you. And well, when I became a Christian, that changed. When I didn't forgive, I could feel it. I could feel that I felt trapped, like the anger and the, the hate. All these thoughts of revenge just sort of take up my, my mind and, and change my mood and everything. So I thought, forgiveness is good, forgiveness is important. I've got to forgive. I thought I had it down pat, but then I saw this news report on the Bali Nine. Now, if you don't know the Bali Nine, there are these nine people that got caught smuggling heroin out of Bali. <laughs> now, that's a stupid thing to do, especially since Indonesia has the death sentence for drug smugglers and they got sentenced to death. And you know, I was like, stupid people deserve bad things to happen to them, you know? Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Besides, I don't want heroin coming into my city. But then, um, I started thinking about it. And you know, man, I've done some stupid things. Man, I've been stupid. It's only by the grace of God that it's not me. And you know, as the years went by, I heard, I heard about two of the guys. One of them became a pastor, the other one became a painter. They both found God. But you know, I hear that people facing death usually turn to God. And they actually really start thinking about where they're gonna end up. They start looking at their lives start thinking about eternity and then I started to think that's great they shouldn't be killed they're changed they're redeemed and then something struck me what about the other seven just because I don't hear about them or what if what if they weren't saved what if what if they were the same do they deserve to die do stupid people deserve to die? Whoa. That was a tough one. But I started to think about it. And more and more, I started to realize something. I started to realize that it's not up to me to judge, right? Who am I to judge? I'm stupid, I do stupid things. Who should judge them? I thought, God, who else? He knows the heart of every person, the minds and the thoughts. Who better to judge than someone that can see right through you and everything, your thinking and your motives and everything like that. And I thought about God. And I thought, man, when he was here, he got bashed. He got a crown of thorns put on his head. He got whipped. He got beaten to a pulp. Because he wasn't fitting into what everybody wanted him to be. But he knew, he knew beforehand that was gonna happen. He knew. And he still did it. And the thing that gets me most is that when he's hanging, knowing better, knowing, hanging on the cross, people mocking him, looking down, he says, Father, forgive them. Forgive them. Man. I forgot about that. I forgot. I forgot that in the bit of darkness, when you're at your worst, that Jesus' blood cries.
eyes down. Miss. Miss. Miss.